Hey guys, this is Eric with ProgramWithEric.com. So, how do you set up Firebase and deploy it? A couple of days ago, uh, actually last week, I created an article, a tutorial on how to do this. So I thought I'd go ahead and show you a, a quick video on how to deploy your application to Firebase. We'll also uh, talk to a Firebase data store and just do some basic Firebase stuff. So I'll go ahead and get started. So I already have Ember CLI installed, so I'll go ahead and try to create a new application here. Okay, great. We're back. I went ahead and just saw so we just went and fast forwarded that last part there. It does take a few minutes for everything to get installed. So the next thing we need to do um, to get em to get Ember Fire Ember or Firebase working with our Ember is to run this command: Ember install Ember Fire. And of course, we have to be inside the f directory we just created. So here's Firebase test. We're in the correct directory now. We just created that today. So I'll go ahead and run that command one more time. Ember install Ember Fire. And we'll wait again for it to install. It should be pretty quickly and you'll see it, 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 it creates your application uh, adapter file, application JS file and installs everything from Bower that we need. So first, let's go into the app adapters application and we'll just take a look at what it created. You can see here it uses the configuration from the config environment which we'll go ahead and set up in a second and it extends the Firebase adapter. So this is everything we need. Now you can see here config.firebase we need to actually go into our config and make sure that points to the URL. So let's go into our environment. Go config. And then we'll go into environment.js file. And you'll see here this is the Firebase. Here's that variable there. So go ahead and delete it. And I before we started here, I created an empty database. So we'll add in that that URL there. So that should be enough for that. So at this point we have the environment set up. Uh, Ember, the Ember adapter, that Ember Fire adapter we installed is all set up. So we can really, right now we can go ahead and and, and really just get started with Ember Fire or with Firebase. So let's go ahead and generate a, a new model. Let's go back to the root and we'll so we're going to generate a new model called post. It's going to have a title and a body and both are going to be strings. Uh, let me make sure I have this correct. One second. Copied and pasted it wrong. There we go. Okay, great. Now we have a new post model. We can take a look at it. Well, actually, since we generated it with the generator model blueprint, we now have this title and, and body, which is perfect. It's what we need. And so now let's go ahead and and take a look at our route. Uh, for our route, what we want to do is we'll go ahead and generate a new route. Call it post. And if you take a look at app.router.js, you can see now we have this route called post. It went ahead and added that once we generated it. 
And now if we look inside our app folder, route, route, slash post, routes, slash post, we can see we have an empty, we can, we can see here we have an empty route, uh, post route here. So we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and, and get that filled in here. So let me double check one thing. Okay. So first we want to create a model. And what this is going to do is we're going to talk, our template is going to talk to this and we're going to return back our post. So we'll have to, we'll use this later. In addition, we're going to create a new action. And in our actions, we're going to create an add action. And what this is going to do is it's going to simply just add a new post. So we'll call it new post. We'll create a new record. And in this new record, we'll have a title, new title, and we'll have a body. And obviously this is just an example, but if we wanted to do this for real, we'd want to have some more variables and properties that we would then grab from the template to add to our new post. But just for the sake of this tutorial and demo, we'll, we'll, we'll just put the data in there for the time being. So whenever this action add is, is triggered, this new post will be created and it'll just be saved. And if we access this model from anywhere, it'll just return back the store for our post, which we already created the model for. So we'll go ahead and quit out. So next thing we want to do is we'll generate the post template. Which is already there. So good. So if we go back to templates, we'll go to post. Now in the post template, what we're trying to do is is uh, we'll have we'll create just a simple button on it. And on that button, we'll just have it trigger the action that we just created, which will add a new post. And then we'll have on the same screen, we'll just list all the posts that we have. And this, this posts are being saved in Firebase. So we'll keep type equal button. So we do the action here, add on click. It's really simple, obviously. This is just for the demo. And we'll have the button here. And now we'll go ahead and we'll add our each. And this each helper here is it'll take a look at that model and we already defined the model earlier in our route. And we're gonna go ahead and <coughs> display the title from each post and the body. That should be it. We'll just add a break at the end. Okay. So now we have our template, we have our model, we have our route all set up. So let's just see if we can bring this up and see if we can take a look at it before we deploy it. So we'll run the ember serve command. And it should be running in my other screen here. I'll see if I can bring it up. 
Okay, so you can see right here, here's the local host. Welcome to Ember.js. We created this new route called post, so let's see if we can bring it up. All right, so we have the welcome to Ember.js. Here's the click me button that we just created. Now in our Firebase itself, we don't have anything. The database is empty. So let's see what happens when we click me. Oh, okay, new title, this is the body. So as you can see here, we went ahead and, and uh, when it clicked it, it triggered our model, or it triggered the action that we created earlier. And that action is being displayed. So that's good news. It looks like it's working. Let's take a look at it. And click it again. It'll just keep adding as many times as you want. Now let me drag over the Firebase viewer. So here is what it looks like in the Firebase dashboard itself. You can see here's the posts. Here's all the ones that we just created. I mean, at any time we can delete them if we like. Oops. Well, you get the idea. We can delete them and go from there. I believe we can even see them being deleted if we did it right. But that's fine. go ahead and close that. All right, so we know it's working, at least in our test environment. So the next thing we need to do is see if we can actually host it on Firebase. Firebase has static hosting for things like Ember, Angular. So to do that, we'll go ahead and install the Firebase tools. Uh, this is the command you use, npm install g uh, Firebase tools, so we can access it anywhere. I'm running NVM if you haven't already noticed. So here's my NVM. I'm using just the latest node 12.4. So we're in here. We'll go ahead and run a Firebase init in our project. So now that it wants me to go ahead and log in, so I'll log in. All right, and here's some of the other Firebase applications that I've already created. So I can go ahead and, and use one of these. So I'm gonna use test Firebase 4321 is where it's gonna be loaded at. And we'll just, uh, Load the public directory, the current directory. All right. So it went ahead and created this Firebase JSON file, which shows you uh, the name of the location of the Firebase we're going to use, the public, and then what we're going to ignore. So actually, in here in public, we want to change that to to the dist folder. And one other thing that I found helpful is to add rewrites on. So I'll just add that real quickly. And this makes it so that when you navigate around your application, you don't have issues. So that should be it. Okay, so let's see if we try to deploy this, what happens. Okay, so I said I went ahead and deployed it. So let's see here if it worked. All right, so here's the folder I just brought up, or the deployed application. Let's see if we go to post. Yep, oh, here it is. Yep, All right. so it looks like everything's working. 
So here it is. Great. So if you have any more questions about my tutorial, uh, free feel, feel free to email me or you can feel free to leave a comment below in this post. Um, thank you and thanks for watching.